My name is Juliet Murphy and I played with Cork in the 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2012 and 2013 All-Ireland Final. My name is Neve Kinlan. I played for Monaghan in the All-Ireland Final in 1997, 1998, 2002, 2008, 2011 and 2013. For us, for us to get to the final was a big achievement. There was a lot of excitement and you know a buzz around the county. As I said, it was six years since we were last in the final. The night before I all learned, I never slept, and I used to always pity who'd be end up rooming with me. We always had certain seats. I don't know if that was a big thing for you. Oh, really oh God, yeah, yeah. It was just a no one thing. No one sat in them seats. The first thing we ever experienced is we got a guard escort in, and like the nerves would have started to kick in at that stage because you know obviously you knew what you were ahead of you. Like that, getting the guard escort in, and then we had a like a playlist that we had yeah. going to each game like that we kept the same but you're so nervous as well. We had played Monaghan in the semi-final and I don't know if you remember but Valerie got sent off as the referee misinterpreted what she had said. I think Maura Kelly actually from Tyrone wrote a letter of oh, reference right. God, supporting the, yes. yes and she for that 2008 final I think she scored 3-2 yeah, that day she was on fire. I mean obviously the game was a no contest. I think it was a contest up till half time. I'd say there wasn't even five minutes gone when we got that penalty. That's right. And it was yeah, a great yeah. start for us to yeah. get. Here you are, Neef. Oh, that's the fist. Yeah. yeah. And as when Val said about her timing was sublime. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> you took did you take all the freeze that time? I oh, was taking them that time, yeah. yeah. Oh god, I remember this at the end. He was just trying to do anything try and get a score. <laughs> <laughs> so that was you, that was your fourth, four in a row. Yeah. That's my school. Is it? Yeah. Oh God, this is the one. This is the one. That was the one. It was a killer. Now look. Chipped it over nicely. It's a bit of a gift. Yeah. It's a lifetime ago when you think oh, back. Oh my God, like, yeah. I think when I look back at the players I played along with that lost all those finals and don't have one. You know, I'm very fortunate to have to have that one from '97. Mm -hmm. Edel Baron the same. What age were you playing that first All Ireland? I was only 16. 16. Yeah. yeah. So young. So young. Like, it. and I think when you lose one, you really appreciate one. And you probably could say that from 2011 after losing in 2010. Do you know what I mean? 2008. I would say we were so driven. We had a, a statistician involved with us, but it was Eamon's brother-in-law, Tim Murphy. Tim was very unwell. Uh, we were making our way down and, and we got word that Tim had passed away. It's, it's things like that like that puts it into reality. It like, does, you know, And yeah. how much sport can mean to people. Like. That sense of unity and friendship, wanting to yeah. keep Eamon's memory alive as well, you know, because he's such a part of all of us, I think. Yeah. He was so intuitive. He was such an empathetic leader. It was always about us as players and as people. And I think that came through and also when we played. How you were so successful was because you were a unit as opposed to any in, like individuals. And he had a brilliant knack. He had a brilliant knack, he had a great way. And it wasn't off the cuff. It no, was it the, was planned. It was planned. I mean, I think he said the same thing to me for eight years. It was so simple. But that's, I think that's the beauty of football. It is very simple. You're just instinctively playing because at that level, everybody yeah. can instinctively and I, play. And you could think for yourself, I think that was very evident in 2014, the famous match, you're 10 points down with 15 minutes to go, and yeah. it was nothing he did on the line. No. It was totally no, used to just, yeah. you know, the memories, I think, is the, is the big thing. And I think when you retire and you look back on stuff, it's the people you meet and the memories you have from it more than, as you said, the medals in the, in the press. But when you're in the moment, it's it's your life. Like, it's it's the whole, do you know what I mean? It's all, it's all you think about. And as I said, you only really appreciate it when you retire. And you focus in on the losses when you're playing. Like, you more do. So. Yeah, because that drives you on. Mm -hmm. In the league final, I had my friend's wedding was that day. And then we won, I was like, oh, I just don't think I can go. I want to be with the girls. <laughs> There's no one else that was at the game. Sharing the same Sharing, house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The pace was so frantic. Your heart is pounding. Like I could physically feel your yeah, heart pounding. Yeah, yeah. And your breath is caught. When you run out from the tunnel, the roar of the crowd, the hair stands in the back of your neck and that feeling of going, God, you're in something big. I remember uh, watching Sue Ramsbottom yes, kick over yes. the winning point. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember that as, as a teenager. I guess it's so important that as a young person that you're sitting in a stand here and watching your role models play. It's so important. Oh, it's people. so important. 